All right, friends, welcome back to Phoenix Point. We have ourselves a little defense about to happen. Andorans will reach Phoenix Point in one hour. What is of note and worth being frankly afraid of is the fact that it's likely to be an attack from a cit citadel coming. So it's going to be some serious, serious aliens. We do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven troops on station to do the defense. I wonder, can I unequip? Unequip. I know that you know, this dude. I need to have to wear. Oh, look, I can. Good. I need to give him as much value as possible. What else can I give him? More nades. He's a level one. I'm not going to want him running in there. Nor do I think that he really can go running in there. Hammer. Make sure we don't have any soldier SPs sitting unspent. Right there. That's interesting combination. Assault rifle proficiency on a sniper, but... And again, I mean, you have heavy proficiency. There's no way you would ever actually use the sniper rifle. <coughs> Excuse me. That other berserker, his weight scenario, he's fully weighted up. He's got the extra med kit. Which I suppose is fine. You're not better off with another regular pistol, but have another pistol. Okay. Enough talk. Let's defend the base. Only a threat level medium, that's not too bad. Take a look, see. I remember what we spoke about at the last episode, where you need to destroy those Pandoran structures. Now for this BS. We've allowed that structure to be on the map for entirely too long. I mean, it was super important for us to get that, uh, that aeroplane, that blimp. It's going to allow us to take eight soldiers out. After this defense, we'll take our eight best. We'll take down those structures. The thing is, I would much rather be doing missions that are going to get me resources, because I think my second base, I need to build a bunch of training facilities. Or we demolish... One of each of med bay and living quarters in the main phoenix point base and we replace them training facility i just think that it's the main phoenix point base that is the one that's most likely to get attacked most of the time let's see where are we uh, that's the lab Training facility. It's pretty cool how the, the map actually has what your base has. And here are the alien. Usually I will sprint up and take position around here. Honestly, I think I want to sprint everybody up to this high ground. It's only half cover, but we can create a nice little bottleneck as they come through here. Damn, I would have been so nice to have gotten my sniper up into position a rocket pack immediately where is everybody else man they're miles away if this manticore gets destroyed i don't think it really matters all that much oh lord who's that Marden. you can sprint thrice though all these lads how much sprint do we have we've got three there none none Double sprint, nothing. It's kind of like I do want to have my berserkers hidden around the corner here. So that if any aliens come out, they can pop out and start bashing with their meat. Let's, let's do that. We can assume that we're going to be able to have at least one turn. Running. Where the aliens need to come sprinting at us. I do think it is so vital that I get everybody into position up on the high ground just as soon as possible. How many can we stick there? Stick at least one, two, four. Or who's the four that are going up there? It has to be the snipers, I believe. Two snipers and the two mixed. Actually, maybe the snipers can sit here. Like, this sniper can sit here. 
Then again, he's going to be obscured by this vehicle. Now he has to get over there. That takes so long, though. Pity his sprint range is so. Mm. Well, we got the first soldier in position, at least. I hope I'm not leaving myself exposed. Hope so too, Big Dizzer. Australian beauty. So him having a cannon, I want him in one of these two positions, so he can, he can hopefully step out here and get a cannon shot. Does that count? That even counts as half cover. That's all. Mm -hmm. My berserkers just get there. I do wonder whether I'm better off hanging up around, hanging around here and forcing them to come towards us, but I don't know how the enemy AI is going to react. That's super risky. Pushing on. Also not ideal that I've had to use all of this uh, will points. The dash abilities. One person dies, everyone's going to panic. So what I'm expecting to happen is for the Siren to use her Frenzy ability. All the other aliens then. Okay, Milky, you kind of need to be up close as well. That shotgun. I believe the cannon as well. And that position could be fine for Milky. No time to waste. The big question is how far are the Pandorans going to be able to move into our combat area here? Interesting, where is she going? Pincer, not too much ammo, so not too scary, that's great. Have to focus. <laughs> nice shield, nerd. position let's actually have a shot there but yeah it's not a rifle assault rifle excuse me Ooh, and the old pistole nailed him nice i think big desert you got to stay there i need you to use that hell cannon and this position is best chance to be able to use the hell cannon circus keep sprinting up Milky that I'm not too sure about. I'm very surprised that the siren didn't use frenzy. I wonder if it has something to do with AI because it can't see it. like a decent spot to pop out from I especially want him up close because if anything gets around about here it'll get annihilated by the shotgun it's an iconoclast good man What's he got? Just a pistol. Oh, that's good, man. Is that a shotgun? That's scary. Uh, assault rifle, looks like. Not a good shot, unfortunately. Okay, Big Dizzer. Wait until anything comes past that line. I'll try to stop them. Line it up. There is no try. Do or do not. Now what I'm hoping is that the siren won't be able to use mind control from there. I assume it won't be able to. The chance it'll use its AoE scream, but if it only panics the two berserkers, that's actually not the end of the world. 
we have there. Another not a great shot. We're better off overwatching. Uh, hang on a second. It is elite. Okay, so we've got our four lads up at the top. The peanut gallery sniping away. Means Big Dizzard does need to kind of stay there. It is a thought though, do I expose him? Because he is probably going to be the first thing that these aliens are going to look at. That's worth taking. It's like a 50% chance to hit. It's kind of got regen though, so no point. Now these are going to be some worthwhile shots. Oh, such a pity I can't hit it in the head. Just to stop its psychic bullshit. Should I move? Lose like a 50% chance to hit. Yeah, hitting the tail misses anyway. And damn it. We have a lot of cannon overwatches. Shot. I got at least two or three more of these cannon overwatches. I need them to hit. Here we go. Go on, big Dizza. Shot, lad. Looks like it's going straight for the berserker. It's a little annoying that the AI knows it's there. If this misses, it could have hit our berserker. Oh, dazed at least, so that's good. That mind control is super annoying. And look how it's hidden away in the corner. We'll have to use one of the uh, heavy cannon shots to destroy that wall so we can get vision. Ah! Weird that it's overwatching that way. Where are these squid men going? And can I shoot this thing in its big stupid face? This is the Iconoclast. Oh, shit, there's another one. Get to the body, unfortunately. Damn, that's not a good shot. <coughs> Erm. Erm. We got dash up, our shotgun, and I use. What are you shooting with? Assault rifles. It's kind of scary. Acquiring target. Okay, I might be able to kill that siren. Yes, good hit. The extra damage here from Reckless is proving to be quite nice. That was a kill. Clutch. Okay, so what sort of will points are we sitting on here? Eleven. Eleven. Twenty-three. I'll try again. No! That was a misclick. I didn't mean to move there. Owie. I've got someone out in the open. Brilliant. Brilliant. That kind of changes things. I don't mind being out in the open against this thing. Now I think I'm best off point, point blank shotgunning these two. Uh, I'll need I'll know whether I need to walk or not. That should be able to one shot that Triton. Right in the head. Enemy down. Oh! 
I think he'll out regen that though, unfortunately. Ooh, no regen. Also disabled clutch. Okay, good. So he'll bleed to death. What kind of shock do I have here? Not a great one. So. Arden. I'm expecting that siren bitch to do some mind control bullshit. I'm an Overwatch. Covering. I'm very worried here for Big Dizza. That misclick could prove fatal. One header headshot, please. Also, okay. As expected, we should be able to beat this thing to death. And that might go straight through the chest and still hits behind. Pretty impressive. The Big Desert does need some way to make use of his extra ability point. Kind of getting wasted right now. Two pistol shots here, that ought to do. Also is disabled. I disable the tail. No point. Repositioning. Hope this works. Feels like is this going to be the last enemy? I'm an Overwatch. Surely there's going to be more. Providing Overwatch. It is pretty cool to be able to stack Overwatch in a narrow hallway like that. It's brutal for the enemies to try to get through it. Okay, long range pistol shots in high cover. He's unlikely to do much to us. So this should be pretty simple. Break vision, then walk into Overwatch. I'll be right with you. Look, you can even go up there. I'm no, not really. Steps kind of going to nowhere there. Discovered. Oh, moving out. Hit the accent. Repositioning. Seems like this squid man is the last thing we've got to deal with. Deck. Okay, in that case, recover. On the next turn, we can sprint out there. Get him. Do I even need modern in these boys? Yeah, go on then. Let me catch my breath. Probably we don't have alien containment set up yet and some stun guns we could actually have maybe captured the squid what is he doing moving to position yep yeah. do with that but uh milky you want to do the honors Hmm. 
Might be overwatching, but kind of who cares, you know? Can't beat the Iconoclast for close range. Boom. Big bada boom. Easy enough. Well done, lads. Good defense. It's going to be interesting now picking our eight best troops, especially because I have... Roughly, I have two six-man squads split up into pure levels and mixed. We might have to split up the groups that we have. Another pistol, that's great. Wait a second, I was... Gonna head out here somewhere to go hire more nerds, wasn't I? Already have a couple of berserkers. I think first things first, let's just get everybody into Phoenix Point. And then we can decide who's going to be the eight man squad. Oh, yeah, armor break. Yes, please. Any with proficiency? I think of the two berserkers, maybe we make one a pure and one a dual class. Shotgun and melee with proficiency. That kind of sounds like, he'd, well, he'd do well with a uh, pure build. Okay. Uh, handgun proficiency on a heavy is amazing, but we don't actually need it on the off your class. He's going to be uh, rapid clearance. Then I want to inspire the synergize with the rapid clearance. Boom blast we don't need. Reloading is pretty important. Hmm. I really want that handgun proficiency. Damage dealt and hearing range. Oh, he doesn't have to hang on to these grenades. He can just use this. Gun. Hmm, we might have to go hire some more people first. A infiltrator. Is a priest. So at a minimum we need 14 people. What I really want is another heavy. We could just go straight up go get an armadillo. And the eight-man blimp could have the armadillo plus four. And considering we're struggling so much to find another pure heavy. Hmm. Okay, so we're going to have to compromise a little. So I think that my dual classes are my strongest. Yeah, my... What? What? Two, three, four, five. Where's the other dual classes? Then, of the two berserkers, there's Mongoose, who's training. Not going to melee for proficiency. I think actually this is the one I want to have dual class. Dual class him with assault training, so he can use a shotgun with extra damage. And it'll give him extra damage with his melee weapon, so he can then sprint forward. Adrenaline rush, melee weapon, four times with 20%. Means he needs to be... I'm just going to put here DC, so I know that he's the dual class one. No, not meant to go. Tiamat, one, two, three, four, five, six. Still need more. So I've got two assaults. So I've got my two snipers. I need another. Well, then, some of these guys who were marked for being pure might have to then be switched over to dual class. 
Then who is best suited to being dual class of these remaining guys? Viking has healing and quarterback. Really? Quarterback, heavy weapons proficiency. I think then quick feed. Better off being dual class then. He will be dual classed. Uh, rage burst, I think. I mean, if you think he's going to have strongman, heavy weapons proficiency with 30% bonus damage, it would be a nightmare to do with this dude. One more. Well, okay, let's see if I've got a squad of eight. Two assault. So, so two dual class assault, two dual class uh, heavy, two dual class sniper, a dual class berserker, and. And it's got to be either a dual class priest or a dual class infiltrator. I don't know a damn thing about the infiltrators. That sounds pretty interesting. What do y'all think? Eat them. Uh. We can send the manticore out to go fetch that dude. But then, just for now, Arakantha, help with the defense of that place. Check weapons. Some of them are below health, but that's probably fine. Yes, it's source, manticore. Or manticore. Let's see here. Give us some. Okay, this is the weapons and armor that's coming to replace the sniper stuff. We need legs as well. It does. I think it's tab actually to switch between extreme threat level. Oof, geez, like it's an amazing reward though. Taking strength is 20. That's pretty scary. That's Scylla territory. <coughs> level 6, level 5s, 4s. I think the three snipers are going to give us what we need here. We can always just exfiltrate. This is scary though. I wish I had more of those Golden B body armors completely give to the sniper so they can just jet jump position on turn one and then just start shooting like mad on turn two. Right, please don't be a Scylla. It shouldn't be. I need everybody to have a, some time to recuperate and go take on those Pandoran structures. We have to oh, protect just that altar. No, not great. That means all the enemies are going to converge on that building. Well, okay. Snipers on the roof. Everybody else, move forward. On my way. Desperately hope we can start picking off enemies from here. How's that not cover? Overwatching. There's the Berserker. The mongoose will use you as a scout. Making haste. It's, and it's a cellar. Oh, Christ! 
changes things. Can we sneak up on this thing without it seeing us? Repositioning, okay. prioritizing speed. At least with the armor break and all of the other lads that we have here. If we're super lucky, this thing will be off by itself, not all the other aliens here. Moving out. What I'm hoping is in the next turn we can armor break okay, its thorax awesome. and then everybody else can just dash up to it, just execute the damn thing. And I set my overwatch too close to it, I should have set it over here. I've probably grabbed its attention now where I shouldn't have. I got this covered. Zero damage. Is that gonna make the building destroyed? Holy, <laughs> holy hell. At least we're not gonna have to dash all that much. No, you shoot at us, you bastard. I think we have to kill its abdomen. It has the spawn mind controller's ability. Acquiring target. Good lord. Death belch. Okay, yeah, so we have to hit the abdomen. Can I even target the abdomen? Is a negative. Could no, we have to destroy the abdomen. Can I do that again? I certainly hope. No, the spawn mist is annoying. But as long as I can keep pounding that abdomen. That's how this is going to go down. I'm going to sprint down there. No, I can't actually. See, I can't use Warcry if I use Sprint. No time to lose. Cover is kind of irrelevant. If my entire squad together can't kill this thing, we are in so much trouble. Well, hitting it again will take away the rest of its armor. Because I can't do anything with his one remaining action point. I think this has to be double shotgun to the abdomen. The way I'm supposed to go. Damn, we are going to get grenaded almost certainly. I I'm being forced to group everybody up here. But again, as bad as that is, it's nowhere, nowhere near as bad as the alternative. That we just keep, yeah, just keep pounding the spawning abdomen. I have in the past fought these things and failed to take out the spawning abdomen. It is a disaster. It, it spawns five mind fraggers. Yeah, boys! Big boss man dead. And now we can okay, cover that lad with snipers. Even have an angle there. If by some miracle we can destroy this thing's grenade arm. Uh. Okay. 
Enough quick aim shots. I could maybe even take this thing down, but if they hit, there's like a 50% chance to hit. I'll get him next time. I'll get him next time. Alright, Paracanta, this is on you. That launcher on. Try again. This is a using it's using a huge amount of will points, but I think it'll be worth it if I can get rid of that launcher on. Got two shots left. That ought to be enough. No. Moving to position. I can take one. I think three pistol shots. Is my best bet. I'm so glad I gave Martin this handgun proficiency. I'm a big fan of handgun proficiency. I think it's excellent. Right. The big bad is down, and one of the henchmen is down. Heading out. I got this covered. It just shows you the power of that uh, Disciples of Anu shotgun. We were able to take, take that thing down in one turn, and we didn't even have to use Rage Burst. It all could be for naught if we don't get over this quickly. Got it. Yes. Oh god. Shot. Is that grenade arm? Shield arm. I'm worried about the squid. Oh god. I'm worried about that squid man hitting the objective. And now this thing's in the mist. How much? Oh, I don't have will points left. Mist does actually make it quite difficult. No choice but to keep going. Right. <coughs> awesome, I've got some sprints here. Actually, if I put myself here, I can probably kill these two with shotguns. And all the rest of the squad just has to deal with the siren. Ah! Ready to engage. It's good, man. Uh, pity you didn't have rapid clearance there. Taking aim. Maybe a few grenades or what is needed on that siren. And never mind, I can double sprint and just uh, nail that siren in the chest. No rest for the weary. But in the chest, actually strip some of that armor away. That squid man is dangerous, but he's nowhere near as dangerous as this thing. Yet. Acquiring target. We're almost there. What else do we have? Snipers, I want to have them kill the squid man if at all possible. My Berserker can now pump two shots into the chest. Damn it. I 
feel like the pistols are legitimately saving our ass in this, in this engagement. We're gonna have to sprint up there and defend the objective on the next turn. Only 30 hit points left there. No, the tree! Well, at least, it, it, it is panicked, at least. You know what, I'm actually going to sprint up here. I can hopefully get that thing's attention on the next turn. I worry that it has an assault rifle, and if it shoots twice into the objective, it might even destroy the objective. Oh, yes! The one that was shooting the objective seems to have either ran away, or it's come outside, and we're busy dealing with it now. Good luck. Pushing on. Quick feed, do the honors. I love how you just run around and one-tap things with a shotgun. Enjoy it while it lasts. It's not gonna last. He actually has a shot that's pretty amazing. We have a shot from this far away. I kind of didn't realize that Modern had all these movement points and uh, full points. He had such a good time just sitting up on the roof. Moving to position. Me and Iconoclast. One thing that seems pretty clear is that we're not going to be able to use the Berserkers to use their melee attacks until they have the ability to sprint. The Berserker pure class. Pretty easy to get the most out of. He's just going to have to blue move pistol, blue move pistol till he gets into range, but then. To try to build that berserker or pistol mastery. Let's kick this bloody door down. Moving now. Oh, on the next turn. Quickly. That's objective failed for us. Maybe if we grenade this door open and get in there now, this turn. Oh, fuck's sake. That's mission failed. Oh, there's, a, there's another structure. Okay, thank goodness. I thought that was the only one. It said 66%, so where's the other structure? Goodness. I thought that was it for us. Yeah, that kind of changes things entirely. We need to fall back. Set up an overwatch. I might actually blow that door open. When I feel that it suits me. Here we go. Holding position. I think everybody needs to recover, or most of the lads need to recover. Need a moment. We have a siren who's just at the back there screaming. I think these guys are out of range of the siren. This is the important one. Back. What are they going to do now? Oh, I frankly don't know.
Okay, they have to go all the way around. Use that to our advantage. Get. Coming out in the open. Annoying, but I believe we can kill her this turn, especially because I had a bunch of my guys recovering, so should have a few dashes available. Look at that pistol damage, it's real good damage. Owie. This author and I should just one tap. Out of ammo. Reloading. Okay, so at least our lad is panicking, which actually helps us. I wonder if I can set up a shot that will travel through the siren and hit the squid behind it. Ready to fire. Nope. Still great damage though. Assault rifle's the way to go now. I don't think this thing has return fire, so we just get right up in its yeah, face. I have to focus. Oh, run at it! Now, the first two bullets should kill it, and the rest should actually hit the squid. Does the squid have pain chameleon? No, it has the regen. And the squid's panicking. Awesome. On my way. Boom! Get dazed, nerd. You know, it was so easy to steal that disciples of Anu blimp. Half tempted to steal another one, but I think maybe we should get a Sinedrion uh, aircraft. That's the quickest. I just don't know how many it carries. I imagine the Sinedrion vehicle carries six, because it's the fastest. people very nice and i need one of my two squads to really commit to searching western asia to find that other base we need a base where we can just leave our soldiers for training honestly i might even need a third squad first engineering's aren't as Battlefield reports suggest that the Scylla is the apex alien. It is suspected that in addition to the creature's destructive capabilities, it's able to control lesser creatures. A complete autopsy will be able to reveal. Also, if I complete the first step missions for Sinedrion, miles away is the problem. Okay, new plan. We bumped down to a layer, interestingly. It was a citadel. Okay, so the Tiamat squad is the Alpha Squadron. They will take down the Pandoran layer and the other Pandoran layer. And Manticore squad, which is the Beta squad. They will keep 
uh, they're going to keep looking for the western location. I always argued for giving New Jericho another chance. Maybe there was more to Tobias West than greed and self-importance. Maybe New Jericho could be a force for good after all. Maybe they even believed in freedom like they kept saying. I was wrong. For that, I apologize. But at least we tried. Now we know that war really is the only option. Damn. It's easier to see which of your weapons are the ones that are a little sick out of eight. Out of six. Uh, dual class, quick feed, rage burst. I think we go heavy, we go hell cannon plus shotgun. Even Potrider is only with us until I can get another person. I think maybe this lad. Kind of training he has reckless far-sighted cautious that's interesting reckless and cautious together which gives you a net 20 percent damage increase but for a total of 50 sp it's not worth it okay so proficiency with crossbows and spider drone deployment baseline stealth factor 25 as long as he isn't revealed so we don't actually have anything he can use back from behind gain shock value with three times the damage dealt eh. Deploy holographic decoy at the chosen location. The decoy is treated as a real target by all enemies. Deploy three spider drones with one action. Move within five tiles and disappear from view for the next turn. Damage dealt while not spotted increased by 100. So these actually sound like they could be pretty amazing snipers. Because if they're sniping from range with sneak attack, and you're kind of not hardly going to be using any of the other abilities but the thing is if unless we actually ally with the Nidron and get the weapons and armor that they can use not going to be great uh milo gonzalez is a pure sniper gotta go reckless uh overwatch by one so free pistol overwatch that's nice Star Willpower is fine. He actually needs more strength so that he can wear the armor we're busy building for him. So who are one of these guys needs to be marked for dual classing? Or we just, do we just go pick up a priest? Five, six, six, seven. Pick up a, uh, a disciple's priest and train him in the field. No, we said we were going to get a. Uh, what's it called again? A, a technician. At least we kind of have the gear we need for a, for a technician. There's one right over there. Oh, there's an armadillo there. Where's your technician? Oh, kidding me. Now we can't find any Jericho Haven that gives us... Okay, in that case then. One of these lads. Who's highest level? Six. Ruffle. Wait, did I not level anybody to use the grenade launcher? I think Ruffle might actually have big boom training. He does. Now, yeah. oh, Ruffle. OK, 
Okay. We got six lads in the Manticore. Everybody just gotta chill for a little bit while we fill up. Doesn't have armor. We have armor coming though. Right, good episode. Let's take a little break then. When we come back, we will finish healing everybody up. Alpha Squad and the Tiamat will go clear out these Pandoran layers. Beta Squad in the Manticore might actually go on a bit of a recruiting, a simultaneous flying around Asia and recruiting. And then Alpha Squad will hit that, hit that, and hit that. We don't have a special mission for one of these apples of Anu, because with the reputation. <coughs> Excuse me. I kind of wish there was a little icon above the cities, if there was a job available, you know, mission available. A little concerning that we probably won't be able to respond in time if PHB... Like, there's, there's too much to do, not enough time. I'm gonna spin the clock until everyone's fully healed. Antico are fully healed. Tiamat are fully healed. We'll take a little break there. Thanks for watching, friends. I'm still on for nine. This is Phoenix Point. I feel like we are beating back the tide quite nicely. Our decision to man up and take the risky emissions of getting this blimp and now clearing out these two layers. It's so interesting that the Citadel downgraded to a layer. I wonder if it sent out enemies that we defeated and then that's why it downgraded. I've never seen one downgrade by itself before. Super interesting. It's also worth thinking that we should do this before the mist hits it because the mist hitting it will make it more difficult. Okay, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.